the log lift. It's probably one of the manliest lifts you can possibly perform. I mean, what's more badass than lifting a giant piece of wood above your head, and better yet, throwing some weights on top of that to make it even heavier. It's also one of the most unique testaments to raw overhead press strength, and has become a cult classic among longtime Strongman fans. While the record was practically dominated by a single athlete for years on years to come, its history still involves plenty of other distinguished athletes that were able to make their mark, along with one of the most unorthodox lifters to shake up the entire community. Let's not waste any more time and take a trip back to the 1980s to talk about the fascinating world record progression of the Max Log Lift. The log lift, or more specifically, the Max Log Lift, was first introduced in 1980 at one of the first World's Strongest Man competitions. The event's debut consisted of multiple logs of various sizes, with two handles on the inside of the log to grip it properly. The goal is to simply get the heaviest log above your head by any means necessary. There were two methods athletes used to get the log up first. Some laid it vertically to immediately put it onto their knees, while others opted to deadlift it. Once they've gotten it to their chest, some will press it right away, whereas others will take the time to get their balance and press when they have some sort of stability. A decent amount of athletes also opted for a slight jerk to lock their lifts out, but some felt more comfortable strict pressing it too. Lars Hedlund of Sweden and Bill Kazmaier of the United States would both share the first record at 157 kilograms, each displaying slightly different techniques of lifting the log too. Kazmaier would break the record once again by 6 kilos at the next World's Strongest Man, but his reign ended there quickly, as he didn't break it in 1982's rendition, and he was banned for the next four World's Strongest Man competitions. The reasoning for this is a bit complex and still doesn't have a definitive answer today, but nevertheless he still continued to hone his craft elsewhere. In 1987, he and another multiple World's Strongest Man winner, John Paul Sigmarsson of Iceland, had the chance to face off in the log lift in Sweden. The two went back and forth to the point of being on their fifth lift, and Sigmarsson would tie Kazmaier's record of 163. Kazmaier went for 165 and a half, but he immediately bailed out of the lift as soon as he felt his balance go off, possibly due to the small platform he was standing on that he commented on shortly after. When he's getting it, oh, he's gone. Why don't we do it on a balancing act, on a wire? Bill Kazma absolutely furious with himself. The tactical error, perhaps, he elected to wait until 365. He had two. Kazmaier eventually returned to the World's Strongest Man series, and with the Max Log Lift being one of the earlier events still, he was looking primed to take the record back after a long hiatus from the series. This wouldn't come without competition, however, as Great Britain's Jamie Reeves had worked his way up to a 165kg lift after Kazmaier pressed 160, taking the record for the first time. Reeves would only get to enjoy this record for a couple minutes until Kazmaier smashed it right back, securing 170 kilograms. The record was still seeing drastic jumps in weight, especially in 1992 when Reeves went for the lift of a lifetime at the World Mighty Man, going 10 kilograms higher than the previous mark. He displayed an extremely smooth press for the new world record, and had an extensive lead over the rest of the field in this event. A new world record, as the Englishman clinched yet another first place. By now, he looked to have things well in hand. This substantial jump for the lift would see its first hiatus from any new mark set, as the only one that came close was Fleming Rasmussen of Denmark in 1999, where he lifted 177.5 kilos. It would take a full decade until a man from Norway went another 5 kilograms above, as Sven Carlsen would break the curse with a 185 kilogram lift on November 23, 2002. This was the lift that truly got the record back on track, as the next year Hugo Gerard from Canada broke it by 1 kilo on August 1, 2003. The problem with records sometimes, though, is that when it begins to move by 1 kilo at a time, it can mean two things. Either the record is reaching its breaking point, or the right athlete hasn't gotten their hands on it yet. The latter could not have been more accurate, as this man was quite possibly the most dominant athlete throughout any event in the history of Strongman. It's the Lithuanian legend himself, Zadruna Savikas. Zadruna Savikas, or Big Z, is a powerlifter and strongman who is slowly building his name up in the Lithuanian scene, consistently placing in the top three at Lithuania's Strongest Man, and eventually becoming unbeatable at his home country. 
Hungry for more competition, he eventually went international and was taking the podium spots at World Strongman Challenge events and the Strongman Super Series every single time, along with being the World's Strongest Man runner-up three years in a row. Savikas was a competitor through and through, as he attended just about everything there was, but where he really found his niche in the world record sphere was undoubtedly his uncontested overhead press strength, which in turn included the log lift. The first record he took would happen in Ukraine, where he'd lift 188 kilograms. But this record would only last a week before Raimond Bergmanes of Latvia would take it right back with 190 kilograms. Kilos, this a weight that has never been attempted in strongman. We are into new territory, and it's Bergmanis up first. Already done a PB today. He's almost there. He's got it. Bergmanis has managed it. He's got a new world record. The pressure is on the others. What a moment in strength history. Write this day down in the annals of strength, 190 kilos, unbelievable. Big Z was already put off by someone taking a record from him, so his next logical step in his mind was to, well, lift 10 more kilos above that and break the 200 kilogram barrier for the first time in history on May 1st, 2005 at the IFSA Hungary Grand Prix. He didn't stop here at all though, as he'd lift 202 and a half, 205, 207 and a half, and 210 all within a few years span. His form was also phenomenal to look at. He had no issue ever getting it from his knees to his chest, and by the time he's there, it's no question it's going above his head at that point. When I say no one was close to Big Z's pressing ability, especially in the log, I mean there was not a single person who could even remotely contest him. Big Z's record-breaking brigade would come to a halt for a few years after his 212 and a half record, but once he got the ball rolling again in 2012, he was breaking the record faster than he had been when it was 15 to 20 kilograms lighter. 2012 was the year for Big Z, as he broke the record four times in a single year, but in slightly smaller increments this time, going from 215 to 220 in four lifts. But the fact that he did this in four separate competitions while obtaining a World's Strongest Man title was baffling the strongman world. Krzysztof Radzikowski of Poland and Mike Jenkins from the US put up very admirable 210 kilogram lifts at World's Strongest Man 2013. But we'll find out shortly Big Z wasn't going to let any of his competition get even the slightest inch closer. He would continue to make slight increases to his record for number 12 and 13, but after his record at the 2013 Log Press World Championships, he had this to say. Det är inte så att han inte har gjort det här på träning. 222 och en halv. Ja, Rysslan kommer, den kommer lite snällt och lite tidigt. Men där är ett kort. Jag tror 197 och en halv, eller 200. 222 och en halv nu. Hur långt vill du gå? Jag vill ta lyfta 225-30 kg. Så jag känner att jag kan göra det. Fantastiskt. Igen, gratulations. Du gjorde ett bra jobb. Celebrate it. Thank you. Big Z wanted to lift not just 225 kilograms, but 230. What should be pointed out is that if you were paying attention to the pound conversions, you might notice we're approaching the 500 pound mark. If Big Z's progress continued as such for the next couple years, this could certainly be a reality along with breaking the aforementioned 230 kilogram barrier. On April 25th, 2014, he would increase his record by half a kilogram for 223, but little did people know this was just a mere warm-up. A bit of a teaser, if you will, because not even a couple weeks later, he would come through with this left. <laughs> Two hundred and twenty seven kilograms, five hundred pounds pressed right above his head for the whole crowd to see. This lift was absolutely monstrous for the strongman community. It was just about the last major barrier fans wanted to see broken, and after 10 straight years of breaking the record time and time again, it all finally came to a close. 
As for the 230 barrier Bigsy wanted to take a crack at, this was becoming a more difficult task for him as he approached 40 years old, as while strength doesn't necessarily decrease as much, the explosivity required to press this amount of weight was certainly going to be dampened by this unfortunate realization. He was able to put up a 228 kilogram lift still for what would be his last and 16th world record. There are many anomalies Big Z brought to the table in the sport of strongman, but this was by far his most dominant and memorable event that still holds dear to his heart today. As for where the record goes from here, well, at this point in time, no one really knew. Over the next few years, the max log lift wasn't challenged at any point in time. In 2016, Radzikowski did put up a 217.5 lift to tie Savickas in competition for a surprising tie. Big Z did go for 229, but wasn't able to press it, most likely due to a nerve injury in his neck he had mentioned before. There were a couple athletes, though, who maybe had the potential that we can run through quickly. Graham Hicks? Maybe. He did put up a phenomenal 220 in 2020, after all. Luke Stoltman? You're getting closer. 221 is a kilo higher, but still 7 entire kilograms away from tying it. Maybe it had to be someone so unorthodox to the sport that you would think this person was mechanically engineered for this event. And when you hear his name, that might hold true. Allow me to introduce you to the African giant himself, Iron Bibby. Shek Senu, aka Iron Bibby, is a strongman hailing from Burkina Faso. He originally moved to Canada to simply get an education at the University of Moncton, but would soon find major success in powerlifting. Upon graduation, Bibby would attend his first major strongman competition in 2016, placing 8th out of 12, but managed to take 1st in an event which was the axle press. It's fairly similar to the log lift, and Bibby decimated the competition, being one of the two athletes to complete two lifts, but did it 40 seconds faster than Lauren Chalet, the man who won the entire competition. Bibby also had some training videos that showcased his build-up to Strongman, displaying insane feats of bench pressing, deadlifting, military pressing, and more, but was also supremely agile for his size, doing cartwheels, basketball dunks, and other acrobatics. His massive frame, insane strength, combined with his impressive agility, was what made him an instant wild card for Strongman fans by the time he got himself into the scene. In 2018, Iron Bibby attended the World Loglift Championships to go up against quite possibly the strongest lineup of athletes. Quite a few men were able to muster 200 kilograms, but the jump to 213 was simply too much for everyone, except for Bjornsson, Bibby, and Hall. The latter two athletes made it look extremely easy, and instead of working up to 220 or maybe 225, the two athletes had a talk with Colin Bryce backstage and would eventually decide on this way. I mean, I've done it enough times to realize you need that yeah. middle lift. You need the 220 to warm up to the 230. I will lose, like, my energy goes a little faster. I'm going to 30. So there's only a couple of lifts left anyway. So whatever, you want yeah. to go 230? I will go 230. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you feel more confident doing 220, yeah, let's do it. 230, you do, do it. You let's fucking do, do what it. you want, man. So, so there's all about prize money for you. It's about, it's about records now, man. So whatever you want. Yeah. All right, when I'm ready then, 230. Yeah. You, you want to do 230 as well? Yes. When I'm ready. All right, going for When you're ready. He will need your assistance, Leeds. Raise it up for this man as he tries to break the all-time log record. Smooth to the shoulder. Not on the first attempt, but he stays with it, Bill. Wow, a brave effort, Bibby. Huge weight. Eddie Hall of Staffordshire, England. There it is, to the chest. Taking a moment, setting himself, little loss of consciousness there, wants it moving, wants a drink. Come on, beast! Here we go, Hall, the second attempt. Bears are clean. Oh, so very close! Eddie Hall 
Oh, so very, very close there. What's that balance? Bibby sadly didn't look too confident, but Eddie Hall's second go was as close as it could possibly get. Hall had retired very shortly after this competition, unfortunately, and others did put up fantastic numbers over the next couple years, but nothing close to Big Z in the end. However, in a completely unexpected turn of events, Bibby's training had reached unheard of levels when he pulled off an unofficial world record of 233.5 kilograms that caught the attention of a couple strength news outlets and log press enthusiasts. Bibby would face a roadblock though to showcasing his skills at Giants Live again due to the pandemic, but all hope wasn't really lost at all. In fact, this was just more time for him to hone his craft in his eyes. Iron Bibby continued to post training lifts of over 200 kilogram log lifts, and eventually would get featured in a Giants Live pre-show video where Bibby pressed 223 with relative ease. With a couple years of preparation and a smarter training regimen of not maxing out as often, would it all click on show day like it should have in 2019? This man is ready to erupt with power. And when that log hits his shoulders, it's whoop, up to arm's length. Come on, baby. Here we go. Iron baby. For the world record here at the Hydro in Glasgow. Show this man what you want, ladies and gentlemen. And he's down the river, ladies and gentlemen. The world record falls here at the Hydro. The world record is crushed by Burkina Faso's own Mr. Iron Bibby. In memory of his father, you can see the headband. It's really hard for me because I wanted to break this and with my father watching. And you guys are all like my father here now. I really feel home, and my brother, honestly, thank you guys. I really feel blessed, and I'll be back again for more performance. God bless you all. Iron Bibby had finally surpassed Adrunas Afikas' long-standing, near-unbeatable record by pressing 229 kilograms on September 18th, 2021. Just a month before, Iron Bibby had the unfortunate bearing of his father's passing, so to channel that mentality into something like this was the very least he could do for himself, his home country, but most importantly, his father. Bibby did attempt to break his record again in 2022 for 230 kilograms, but came just the slightest bit off with his balance on the press out. But given his relatively young age still, there are certainly more attempts in the tank to be witnessed in the future. The max log lift is one of the embodiments of strongmen that make it such a fantastic sport to spectate. To turn a conventional lift into such an unconventional one by simply making the weight shaped like a log is kind of genius when you think about it. It also became the home of perhaps the most dominant streak of record seen in strength sports history, and for it to be broken by a newcomer to the scene from a country that had much more limited training resources at times is without a doubt a poetic way to send the record off. It would be amazing to see others try to rise to the level of Bibby to get themselves or him a bit of a push in the future, but it's already been a spectacle enough to witness an athlete match the levels of someone as prolific as Big Z. The 230 barrier will be broken someday, and whether or not that becomes the last barrier broken or not will be a question for the world's best overhead pressures to decide. But for now, this has been the world record progression of the Max Log Lift, and thanks for watching. Thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel, and if you want to see more documentaries like this, come on over to become a patron. And hey, drop a sub if you're new here too. I'll see you on whatever video I upload next, and take care.